Welcome to Compassion in Hour, brought to you by Christ Compassion Ministry, Church on the Hill at the River. Christ Compassion Ministry brings healing to the brokenhearted and equips workers for effective ministry. May God visit you as you listen to the Word of God, brought to you by our senior pastor, Apostle Enos Rodeno. We've been saying that our God is a God of help. He helps us in different ways. At times of need, He's our closest friend that can help us. When you are stuck, when you are in need, run to the Father. Do not trust in men. Put your hope and your trust in the living God. Lift your eyes unto the mountain, unto the hills from, from whence cometh your help. Your help cometh from the Almighty God. God. Some trust in chariots. Some trust in horses. But we will trust in the name of the living God. His name is a strong tower. You as a righteous man, you can run into that name. And you will be saved. We saw Jehoshaphat was greatly afraid because the nations came to fight him. From the book of Second. Second Chronicles chapter number 20 from verse number 3 and 4 he was ex extremely afraid but, Je but uh, Jehoshaphat called on the name of God he asked for help from God and God came to his help and we saw verse number 25 when Jehoshaphat and his people came to take away their spoil because God had defeated his enemies. God had helped him so much. And defeated his enemies. They found a man among the enemies that were slain. An abundance of valuables on the dead bodies. Therefore we saw. Precious jewels which they had stripped off from themselves more than they could carry away and there were three days gathering the spoil because there was so much in the place where Jehoshaphat was distressed we saw God turning this around not only to help him fight for him but also to make him rich. We saw in the place of your misery, in the place of your pain, in the place of your sorrow, God is a great helper. He is able to come forth for your help and turn it around, not only to defeat your enemy, but also to create that opportunity to make you wealthy. My friend, let me tell you, God God has determined that abundance comes your way. And the way God brings abundance in your way is not a way that is ordinary. God is able to work in extraordinary ways. The thief cometh not but to steal, to kill and to destroy. But Jesus came that you may have life and life in abundance. It means it means good health. It means righteousness. It means salvation. It means wealth. It means riches. It means houses. It means money. It means all things. Abundance is your portion. In the name of Jesus. If you believe in short, I receive it. My friends. We refuse poverty. We resist poverty. In the name of Jesus. Some people are so religious they think being poor is being righteous. My friend, poverty is your enemy. Poverty is an enemy that you need to fight at its very root. In the name of Jesus. Poverty is a cancer. Poverty is a disease that you need to fight. Jesus came to give you abundant life. Lift your hand and say, I'm for abundant life. Amen. Amen. So listen to me. God 
will use extraordinary ways to give you abundance including pamoja what you're going through right now kila ambacho unapitia sasa are you hearing me naelewa mimi jehoshaphat was afraid jehoshaphat alikuwa ameogopa afraid alikuwa ameogopa whatsoever you are afraid of chochote umeogopa may god turn it around acha mungu aigeuze to bring your abundance acha utaelewa wako god used this to bring so much abundance mungu alitumia hii kuleta utele mwingi sana that Three days. Mama siku tatu. They were still gathering. Bado walikuwa wanakusanya pamoja. May you gather for three days in Jesus name. Tatu katika jina la Yesu. Three days means. Siku tatu ina maana. You gather unto perfection. Utakusanya hadi kamiliki. You gather until it is abundant. Utakusanya mpaka ikuwe imetosha. You gather until you reach God's perfect number. Sanya mpaka ufike nambari ya Mungu iliyokamilika. May that be your portion in Jesus name. Acha iwe sehemu yako katika jina la Yesu. I release you to gather. Na kuachilia ukakusanye. God's own provision. I release you to gather. The louder you are amen, the real it becomes. I release you to gather. In the name of Jesus. Hey. Hey. We said last Sunday. We said your setback is a setup for you are come back you are coming back in a great way where you are afraid you are coming back with great possession i said where you had pain and where you are afraid you are coming back with a great possession hallelujah Hallelujah. You are coming back in a big way. Wewe unarudi katika njia With immeasurable spoils. Ukiwa na mambo mengi sio I said with immeasurable spoils. Ukiwa na umiliki mengi ambao uwezi hesabu. I said with immeasurable spoils. Ukiwa na umiliki ambao uwezi hesabu. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Where you are held back ambapo ulishikiliwa you are getting back restoration wewe unapata tena uregesho the years that the devil stole miaka ambayo shetani aliiba let me prophesy to you wacha nikutolee unabii mambragaska praduga maragabayaga haleluya the years that the devil stole miaka ambayo shetani aliiba i prophesy mimi nakutolea unabii in the name of jesus katika jina la yesu every one of these years shall be restored uregeshwa in the name of Jesus. If you believe in shout I receive it. I receive it. Glory. Your disaster. Is a, is a fixer into the pathways of your destiny. Ah. Can I tell you that again? I tell you that again. You are disaster. Muhanga ulio ndani yake. Is a fixer. Into the pathways of your true destiny. Kuingia katika njia za hatima yako ya kweli. You are disaster. Jangwa la muhanga ulio nalo. Hey. I'm not exciting you I'm telling you. Mimi sikufurahishi tu lakini nakwambia. I wrote this down myself. Mimi niliandika chini jambo hili. By the inspiration of the Holy Ghost. Kwa kuisha na Roho Mtakatifu. You are disaster. Mhanga ulio na ndani. Hey. Hey. You are disaster. Mhanga umbalo unakumbana nalo. Hey. Hey. You are disaster. Mhanga ambao unapitia. Is a fixer. Glory to God. It's a fixer. Into the pathways. Into the pathways of your true destiny. You could have lost the pathways of your destiny. But I've come to tell you. The devil is a liar. The wisdom of God has come to bring you back and set you on the rock to stand to find your true direction and your pathways into your true destiny. 
I prophesy to you the hand of Jehovah has held you back and brought you to the rock to begin a new journey into the pathways of your destiny you are getting to your destiny you are getting to your destiny on this pathway it shall be easy on this pathway there shall be favor on this pathway there shall be grace on this pathway there shall be speed I declare it to be so it shall never be otherwise in Jesus name Hallelujah. Amen. In the book of 2nd Chronicles chapter 14. Verse number 11. We see there a king called Asha. Asa. Asa was in trouble. And the Ethiopians came against him. The Bible says 1 million soldiers and 300 chariots. Asa cried unto the Lord his God and said Lord it is nothing for you to help with many or with those who have no power. Help us. O Lord our God for we rest on you and in your name we go against this multitude. Oh Lord, you are our God. Do not let man prevail against you. Look at the situation where Asa was. But he recognized he could not fight the Ethiopians. Went to God for help. May God cause you to run to him when you are in trouble. May God cause your heart to acknowledge his help every time you are in trouble. Because I assure you As you run to God for help You will not return empty Asa ask God for help He said it is not a small thing for you It is nothing for you to help with whether with many or with those who have no power. Sometimes you can get to a place where you feel you have no power. You don't know what to do about this thing. Everything is ganged up against you. You have no power. As I said, it is nothing. It is a small thing for you. Help us. Verse number 12. So the Lord struck the Ethiopians before Asa and Judah and the Ethiopians fled. May your enemies flee in Jesus name. And Asa and the people who are with him pursued them to Gera. So the Ethiopians were overthrown and they could not recover. When God helps you against your enemy, my friend, He destroys them to totality. I declare in the name of Jesus as God comes to your help to fight the battle for you, He will defeat your enemy to totality. In the name of Jesus, they will not recover. Hey, hey, they will not recover again, but you will prosper in Jesus' name. If you believe in shout, Amen. Amen. So they were broken before the Lord and his army, and they carried away very much spoil. Again, you can see here, God used this disaster to prosper Asa. I tell you in the name of Jesus don't be afraid of your situation today don't be afraid of what you are going through today my friend don't say I don't have a job don't say I don't have business listen to me you don't know from which side your wealth is coming your prosperity is coming God can use your disaster to bring wealth to the Bible says no one knows where the wind comes from. Where 
where it goes no one knows so is the move of the Holy Ghost no one knows God by his spirit can move from any side he can sway anybody's heart the Bible say God moves the heavens for his people he can move anyone to make you wealthy he can move anyone to restore you back I command the winds of the heavens to come forth for you in the name of Jesus and move the hearts of men to bring restoration back to you in the name of Jesus let disaster bring increase for you. Where they stopped you, let God turn this around to bring your increase. Hallelujah. 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 Lift up your hand and say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I declare, I declare, scarcity has no portion in my life I am blessed I am prosperous I have abundance in Jesus name mm. give him a good clap God's pattern for our success is to provide help because he knows we are limited. God's pattern for our success is to provide help because he knows we are limited. Amen. Amen. You know, he sang that song. I know there are some questions in the corner of mind traces of discouragement peace you cannot find reflection of your past seems to face you every day but one thing I do know Jesus is the way Jesus is the answer for the world today Above him there is no other. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the answer for the world. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Yes, on your jibu kwa jina dunia leo. So you may have so many questions. Unaweza kuwa na maswali mengi. Traces of discouragement. Mambo ya kushusha moyo. And you cannot have peace. Na uweze kuwa na amani. Have come to tell you when you call for help from God. Ndio ukiita msaada kutoka kwa Mungu. He is able to turn around that disaster. Anaweza kukausha hilo janga. For your benefit. Kwa ajili ya faida yako. For your increase. Kwa kuongezeka kwako. For your speed. Kwa ajili ya kwenda haraka. See where you could not move. God can allow disaster. Disaster janga to come kuja so that out of that disaster because you've turned your face to him. You see my friend. This thing called testimony. Testimony is to glorify God and say how big God is. But there is no testimony when God has not intervened. So wherever you face trouble, be very happy because you are a candidate for a testimony. Am I talking to somebody here? When you are in trouble, be very happy because you are a candidate for a great testimony. Hey! 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 How can you get money if you don't need money? My father, I pray. Do such a miracle in somebody's life here. When they come for help. That they will know that the word that I have spoken to them. That 
the word that I have spoken to them is true in Jesus name I prophesy in the name of Jesus in the midst of your emptiness Jehovah that I serve shall submit to you more than you expected in Jesus name it's going to happen as I've said it. It is a prophetic word. Come and give the testimony. Give the Lord a clap of praise. Hey. John 15 verse number 5 says for without me you can do nothing so it means with me with God with God you can do everything is that correct without me you can do nothing so with me you can do everything all things are possible unto them that believe do you believe do you believe do you believe let it be possible for you as you have believed in Jesus name go and reap in the name of Jesus hallelujah hallelujah glory how will, how will God help us? Number one, through angels. Malaika. Through angels. In the book of Daniel, chapter number 9, verse 21. The Bible says, Yes. While well, I was speaking in prayer, even the man Gabriel, whom I had seen in the vision at the beginning, being caused to fly swiftly, touched me about the time of the evening oblation. And he informed me and talked with me and said, Oh Daniel, I am now come forth to give thee skill and understanding. At the beginning of, this, of thy supplication, the commandment came forth. And I am come to show thee, for thou art greatly beloved. Therefore understand the matter and consider the vision. Daniel was praying. Daniel and as he prayed, the angel came to help him or to give him the answer to the prayer and the angel said to him he said to him you are greatly beloved at the beginning of the commandment thy supplication came forth and I am come to show thee for thou art greatly beloved angels God will send angels to come and help you Daniel chapter 10 verse 13 Angel Michael came to help Gabriel for the sake of Daniel. Again, the prince of Persia that hindered Daniel's message from arrival. Even when Angel Gabriel could not come forth, God had to send Angel Michael to fight for Gabriel to make sure that Daniel is helped. May God send his angels for you to come to your help when you are stuck. And when the angel that brings messages delay, may God send angel Michael, the fighter angel, to fight the prince that holds you back may God come to your help through his angel fighting principalities and powers of darkness that holds and, and delays your blessing in Jesus name let nothing hold back your blessing by the power of angels let the chains of principalities be broken Daniel chapter 10 verse 13 but the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me to one and twenty days but I but Lord Michael one of the chief princes came to help me came to do what and I remained there with, with the king of Persia. Daniel chapter 6 verse number 22. God sent his angel to shut the lion's mouth 
so that they could not hurt Daniel. We know that story. Tunajua hiyo hadithi. It says verse number 22. My God has sent his angel and has shut the lion's mouth. They have not hurt me. For as much as before him innocence was found in me and also being a before thee O king have I done no hurt. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Utukufu kwa Mungu. As you can see Daniel, unaweza kuona Daniel is thrown in the den of lions. Yeah, ametupwa katika tundu la simba. Do you, do, you, do you think this was just a story? Wewe unafikiria hii ilikuwa ni hadithi tu? You think it was just a story? Wewe unafikiria ilikuwa tu hadithi? You know the king made a decree. Mfalme alifanya tangazo kwa sheria. In fact when the king realized that actually it is Daniel wakati mfalme alitambua kwamba ni Daniel because he loved Daniel so much maana alimpenda Daniel sana he wished that it was not so alitamanya kwamba inge kwa hivyo but in those days when the king had made a decree it had to be done lakini wakati huo wakati mfalme amefanya tangazo lazima ile ingefanyika so Daniel had to be put in the den of lions basi Daniel ilibidi apeke katika pango la simba it was a true den not not an assumption ilikuwa ni pango la ukweli sio tu mambo ya kudhania it's not a disney world ile sio jambo la kufananisha tu it's not some some museum display apa sio tu mahali ya kuonyesha vitu tu this is not a story hii sio hadithi this is not a lullaby hii sio tu wimbo this den of lions was true ile pango la simba liko la ukweli and they took daniel and they put him into the den of lions wakamtikao daniel wakamweka katika pango la simba and my brother in the bible says wapenda biblia nasema the king had trouble the whole night because he knew it can only take God to deliver so when Daniel was put there the king said may the God that you serve deliver you from the lions and let me tell you my brethren even the king knew that there is a God that can deliver from the lions even the king knew that same god my brother listen to me he is the same yesterday he is the same today he is the same forever daniel was inside there daniel alikuwa pale ndani But the Bible says an angel came and shut the mouth of the lions. Say to the lions, you cannot hurt him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That same God that sent the angels to shut the mouth of the lions will send his angels on your way. That every evil that have been fashioned against you shall not prosper in the name of Jesus every lion that has been fashioned to destroy you the angels of God will shut their mouth in the name of Jesus you shall not be hurt hey you shall not be hurt glory to God there is a greater lion the lion of the tribe of Judah hallelujah hallelujah when he sends his angel every other lion becomes quiet glory utukufu hallelujah hallelujah genesis chapter number 19 mwanzo sura 19 you can go and read it from verse 1 to 29 but we see angels came to help lot from sodom kutoka sodom hallelujah hallelujah let's read it together and while he lingered the man laid hold upon his hand who are these men Who are these men? my friends angels are still real malaika bado wa kweli Angels are still real. Malaika bado ni wa kweli. Angels are still there. Malaika bado wa kweli. Angel is the one that will hold your hand. Malaika dia anakushika. When you are about to get into a bus. Wakati uko karibu kuingia katika bus. And that bus is going to have an accident. Bus naenda kuwa na ajali. The angel pulls you back. Malaika anakurudisha nyuma. So that you delay. Ili kwamba uchelewe. You don't enter that bus. Utaingia ile bus. The angel is the one. Malaika dia yule. When you are inside a bus that rolls. Wakati uko ndani ya bus ambayo ni cushions you. Yeah, anakuzikira. When the others are 
back you are protected oh there are angels all over the place to protect you hey the angel laid hold upon his hand the Lord being merciful unto him and they brought him forth and set him without the city when there is favor in your house every child that God has given to you has their own favor and their own season Amen Amen we trust that you have been blessed for prayer. Call us on the numbers appearing on the screen. Join us again on the Compassionate Hour next Sunday, same time. God bless you and do have a very victorious week.